Hi there, gorgeous, and a very happy Save Money September to you. If you missed the initial announcement, every video coming out the entire month of September is drugstore themed. So if you'd like to be notified of new videos just like this one, please subscribe and thank you so much in advance if you do. Today I'm showing you a comparison between Revolution Beauty's new neutral palette with Huda Beauty's new nudes palette. This is one I've been asked a lot of questions about, and I will tell you what, the second that I saw Revolution Beauty's palette, I even questioned it myself as to whether or not it was going to be an exact match, because when you compare them side by side in pictures, it looks like it's going to be a match, but looks can be deceiving. So I'm going to be showing you swatches between these two up close today. I'll also show you an eye look using one palette on one eye and the other palette on the other eye, and I'll let you know. Can you get the Revolution Beauty palette for a lot less and get the same results as the Huda palette? Or should you just get the Huda palette? But before I show you the tutorial using both of these palettes on my eyes, I first want to have you guess to see if you can tell which side is Revolution Beauty and which side is Huda Beauty. The reason I'm having you guess is because I'm going to be giving it away here when I show you the tutorial. But if you guessed that this eye is Revolution Beauty, then you are right really hard to detect a difference between these two eyes, but I will point out some minor differences with you as we go. The first eyeshadow that I took from each of these palettes, the Huda side is called Play, and on the Revolution Beauty side, it's called Delight. And I applied this into the crease. No difference between these two colors on application. When you look at them side by side in the pan, the Revolution Beauty eyeshadow does look a bit darker than Huda's, but once you get them on the eyes, once you swatch them, they are completely identical between the two. So no differences here. Next eyeshadow I used from these palettes is Raw from Huda Beauty and Rumor from Revolution Beauty. And I used this shade to deepen the crease. I found the Revolution Beauty eyeshadow to be slightly richer in pigment and easier to blend compared to Huda's eyeshadow. And that goes back and forth between these palettes. Some of the Huda eyeshadows are better quality than the Revolution Beauty ones, and then some of the Revolution Beauty ones are better than the Huda ones. So you're not really given consistency here in terms of that, so I'll keep notating that as we go. The next two eyeshadows I used were Spanked and Zoned. Spanked is from the Huda palette, and Zoned is from Revolution Beauty's palette, and I applied this onto the lid on both eyes. Huda's was a bit more pigmented, not by much, but it did apply a little easier. And there was a bit of a color difference between these two, and you'll see that more clearly at the end of the video. Once you get them on your eyes, it's a little harder to detect, but when you swatch them side by side, you can notice a bit of a color difference. The next two shades I took from these palettes were Daydream from the Huda palette and Jazz It Up from Revolution Beauty's palette. And I applied both of these eyeshadows wet, on the inner half of the lid. Same great color payoff between these two. You don't have to apply them wet. Both of them apply really great when applied dry, but I applied them wet for more intensity. And they are identical in color, so no differences to mention between these two. Last two eyeshadows that I took from these palettes were Love Bite from Huda Beauty and Majestic from Revolution Beauty, and I applied this into the outer V. You may pick up on it in the tutorial because I feel like it's really easy to see, but if you look to the Revolution Beauty side with this eyeshadow, it was a little splotchy, hard to blend, and Huda's side did blend a lot easier and did apply much more smoothly than Revolution Beauty's side did. But oddly enough, even though the application was better with the Huda eyeshadow palette, the Revolution Beauty eyeshadow was much more pigmented by comparison. If you only saw the tutorial portion of this video and that was it, you would pretty much say, it's a dupe, it's a dupe, but wait, <laughs> wait. I'm gonna show you the swatches up close side by side between both of these palettes. So the way that I swatched these was I applied the first two rows of each of these palettes side by side first. So all the eyeshadows you're looking at here are the first two rows of these palettes. And you can tell the similarities and the differences that exist between all of the eyeshadows shown here. Out of the lineup that I'm showing you here, there are really only six true dupes out of the 14 eyeshadows that I'm showing you here. Now that's, uh, that's not even half 
being able to be duped. So I was a little disappointed to see that. And if you look to the bottom row of these palettes, there are only four true dupes to be found in this array of shades. The way that I just showed you the eyeshadows swatched was as they appear in terms of placement in each of these palettes. But if you go outside of the palette and you don't pay attention to the order of the eyeshadows, you can find two more eyeshadows that are almost dupes between both of these palettes. So if you look to the shade Kinky from the Huda palette and you compare it with Hidden from Revolution Beauty's palette, Kinky is a duochrome pink copper. Hidden is more of a medium cranberry with no copper tones. So there are some differences here, although the shades look very similar to one another. The other one that is an almost dupe is Huda's Charmed eyeshadow, and I'm comparing that with Revolution Beauty's For Real. Charmed has a bit more red tones to it by comparison, and For Real is more of a true gold. So even though these four eyeshadows look like they're going to be dupes of one another, they really aren't. And honestly, you only get about 10 eyeshadows out of the 21 that are within this palette that are true dupes of the Huda Beauty palette. Now in the eyeshadow application tutorial, I had mentioned that there was a difference between the eyeshadows zoned and spanked. And I'll show you that up close here in a swatch. If you look real closely between these two colors, you can tell that Huda's is more pink and Makeup Revolution's is more of a brick red. Again, you can't really tell the difference on the eyes, but you can see what I mean here in the swatches side by side. There is a true difference between these two eyeshadows. And that's why I'm telling you that there aren't that many true dupes between these two palettes because there is too much of a color variation like that that exists between too many of these eyeshadows for me to be able to tell you, oh yeah, it's an exact dupe because it's really not. I also wanted to mention that the concealer shade that exists between these two palettes was very interesting in terms of texture. It was creamier in the Revolution Beauty palette as opposed to the Huda palette where I felt like it wasn't as creamy and smooth to apply, which was rather surprising to me. And like I had mentioned, some of the eyeshadows in the Revolution Beauty palette were a little more pigmented and smooth compared to Huda's palette. But then again, some of Huda's eyeshadows performed a lot better than the Revolution Beauty palette. So in this instance, while there are 10 eyeshadows that are exact dupes in the Revolution Beauty palette of the Huda palette, it's not an exact dupe to the Huda palette. And I feel like you're going to get more quality with the Huda palette as opposed to the Revolution Beauty palette. And that's saying a lot coming from me because Revolution Beauty typically does not disappoint me, but I was pretty disappointed in a lot of the quality with these eyeshadows. I expected more based on my experience with them in the past, but I feel like this one just does not live up to the expectations we've become accustomed to with this brand. The good news is, despite Revolution Beauty's palette not being a dupe for Huda's palette, I did do a comparison between another palette, I believe it was from the brand You Can Be, and I compared it with Huda's new nude palette, and that one was an exact dupe to Huda's palette. And if you missed that video, I'll have it linked for you below. So there are some alternatives out there for Huda's palette that are just as great in quality, this is not it. And I'm always going to be honest with you. It's just, I don't even feel like it's worth the money truly because the quality is such a hit and miss within this palette, sadly. If you've had the opportunity to try this one out for yourself, feel free to share your experiences with it below. I hope you found this video helpful today. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and for being here. Please subscribe once again for more videos if you enjoyed this one, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Have a beautifully blessed weekend ahead.